Mr. Speaker, the minister talks about being seized with urgency, but it is 12 days that health care workers, small business owners, and Ottawa residents and others have been harassed by some members of the convoy. Far-right extremists in the U.S. and elsewhere are trying to bring their radical views to Canada. They're funding extremists, they're empowering racism and anti-Semitism, and they're threatening to overthrow our government. Why has it taken so long to respond to this ongoing crisis and the foreign funded interference that is threatening our citizens, our country, and our democracy. Mr. For Public Safety. I want to assure my colleague, uh, Mr. Speaker, that we have very strong laws to prevent the kind of illegal conduct that she has referred to, uh, any funds that would go towards undermining public safety, national security, or indeed our democracy will be taken with the utmost seriousness by our law enforcement as well as our intelligence community. Mr. Speaker, I look forward to the work that the committee will do. We will re receive the report in this chamber and we will continue to unite around the need to ensure that our laws are upheld. Yes, we will have vigorous debates, but always in accordance with the rule of law. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Kitchener-Conestoga.